Hello power pickers! What makes your sweep picking technique efficient? Let's optimize your right hand technique to become a fast sweep picker after the intro. This video is not about the perfect sweep picking motion because it would be different for everyone. Today I show you three things you can adjust to make your sweep picking technique more efficient. The attack of the pick to the strings is the most important thing in sweep picking. For an efficient technique it is not necessary to rotate the right hand like this. If you rotate the hand like this it is harder to mute the strings above because you can't reach the strings with your palm. I always try to keep my hand in the same position, that means that you should manage the pick angle with your fingers. This way I'm able to palm mute the strings. I tend the pick a bit forward. That reduces the resistance of the strings and the pick. If you hold the pick to parallel to the strings, then you need a lot more pressure to pass the strings. That tendency depends on the tip of the pick. Sharp picks require bigger angles. The pressure, or let's say the way how tight you press the pick together with your fingers, has a big impact to your sound. The looser you hold the pick, the smoother the sound will be. High pressure will take less time for directional changes because the pick will pass the string a bit earlier. If you hold the pick to loose, it will take much more motion to change the direction. Imagine a scale of pressure from 1 to 10. 1 is the lowest and 10 is the highest. So I would say that I am using a solid 5. Try to find out how much pressure works best for you. Number three is the picking depth. The picking depth is directly connected with the angle and the pressure of the pick. If you hold the pick further back, you will end up with less control over picking depth and with a slower but smoother sound. The directional changes require a lot of picking depth here. If you add too much picking depth, you will end up with a sharp and loud sound. This technique also requires a lot of pressure to hold the pick. As you can see now, all the three topics are closely connected together and you can adjust every single one of them to optimize your right hand technique. Here are some exaggerated examples. I hope that you got an idea of the three topics and that you are able to control every single metric. Please keep in mind that my content is a bit exaggerated sometimes and that you need to develop your own feeling. Nobody can tell you how you should feel, but I can tell you that you would not miss my next content by hitting the subscribe button and the bell. Click it down below.